Hey guys, if you saw my last video, you know that Native has offered to do a factory replacement from the stock handle with an upgraded handle. I'm going to tell you what I think the difference is between these two, and I'm going to tell you why I decided to go with neither of them. Coming up. Just get outside and do something awesome. So I quickly got on Native's website and as I walked you guys through how to order that replacement handle, I ordered one also and I got it in the mail and I've had it for about a week or so now, but I wanted to make this video for you guys and today's the first chance that I've had. It's rainy outside, so we're gonna take advantage of that and make this video today. So when you look at these two handles side by side, they look extremely similar, um, but whenever you get down to the nuts and bolts of it, I'm gonna tell you exactly what I think is the difference. Um, I'm gonna flash up a picture on the screen right now. And if you look at these, this picture, you can tell my stock handle from the native replacement. And the reason why you can tell the difference is the, the one that I've had on my kayak is dirty. But when you look at these two side by side, the measurements and everything look extremely similar. I think the design is exactly the same. My assumption is that they used a more dense, harder plastic in the replacement handle. You can tell it whenever you hold these in your hand, it just feels like a harder plastic. But if you also look at the picture right there on the screen, you can tell I took a screwdriver and I made some light scratches in both of them. And if you look at the stock handle, you can tell that those scratches went deeper into the plastic and the reason why is because it's a softer plastic so that's my assumption as to what the upgrade really means so based on that i decided to seek out ryan garrett on facebook um, i knew him from the native slayer propel group that is on facebook but i made contact with him and he linked me up with one of his aluminum handles so i'm gonna go ahead and unbox that one right now and show you guys exactly what it looks like so i'm going to go ahead and unbox this i'm going to get me a knife a multi-tool here so let's open this up here try not to cut myself all right so dang that looks like a baby arm in there so i'm going to try to be careful with this we got some on the back here We've got some shims here and a spacer that they provide. And then here is the new steering handle. They really package this well. <laughs> Cut away. I'm going to get this out of here sometime this year. Sun. look at that look at that glow that is some major blingage right there all right guys so that is some blingage look at that man it's like a disco ball all right so you got the handle here NLD that is for next level design and I got the one spacer spacer version with the grooved handle and this is actually on ball bearings here that's like super nice. So I'm gonna put that next to the replacement handle that Native sends. So if you were to have them at the same level, so it provides quite a bit more of a rise to it, especially when you add in the top little handle there. All right guys, so as you can tell from the unboxing there, this is a very high quality machine piece of equipment and it comes extremely well packaged he sends everything you need to put it together so i've got my handle here i've got my shim kit that he sent and i'm going to go ahead and get to the nuts and bolts of it and put it on the kayak all right guys so we're down here we got the plate so what you want is what i found is the best way to try this out is to put your spacer your stock spacer on here and then try out these shims and so I found that for my, my specific scenario that two shims seems to be the best, these brass shims. But if you try to put it on there like this, unless you have all this undone, it's gonna be really hard to keep those shims in place. So what I did is I took the shims, I actually put them down on there first, and then I took the spacer and 
what you want to do is make sure that it's all flat it's hard to tell um, if you look at this but what i'll try to do is take a picture here okay so you want to make sure that the top of the spacer is level with the top of the machine portion where the splines start so now that i got that on there i'm going to go ahead and put this on here you just want to make sure that the front of your handle is lined up with the front of the pulley all right and so now that i got that on there i've got it turned upside down um, the bottom of this has a little loop here where you have the string and just remember that string portion needs to go around the machine screw don't forget your washer that comes with it all right so i use my 532 allen key to screw that in one note is is that if you are planning on doing this um, you can always consider using some blue loctite and that's going to make sure that that never comes loose but um, i didn't have any on hand today I'm gonna kind of try it without it and see how it does and then go from there um, just because I don't have any in the garage right now. So I got that on there. I'm just gonna test it and make sure that it does turn my rudder before I screw it down. All right, so now I've got my four screws that attach this plate onto here. So I'm just gonna screw those back in. All right, so I got everything screwed back in here. I can just tell by doing this that it's a lot more responsive. Um, I'm not gonna have to worry about this breaking on the water. I'm not gonna have to worry about the splines shearing off. I am gonna go ahead and keep these extra shims just in case I ever um, need them. Also, I've got the stock handles and everything to reinstall those just in case if I ever sell this kayak and upgrade to maybe a newer model, I can take this handle with me um, that way I have everything on hand in case I need to do that. And I'm really happy to have this on here. So now I just need to put the seat back on and I've got my crappie gear on here for hopefully a trip later this week. Even a little sneak peek there of my spider rig type setup that I'm working on, it's kind of in testing phase. Really happy with this handle. <laughs> so guys, I really appreciate you all tuning in today. Hopefully this helps you out if you were considering ordering the replacement handle from native or you're on the fence about it hopefully this helps you i don't really think that the the replacement handle is a bad handle but for me i would just rather not have to worry about it and that's why i went with the nld aluminum handle so as always guys i appreciate every single one of y'all watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos and ring that bell so you get alerted whenever i put out new content and as always guys get outside do something awesome if you get a chance to take somebody with you i'll see you guys in the next video